Okay, so we are now on David Chipperfield Architects website. Now, this is what I want to show you. So you hit projects and what appears is a grid of beautiful images. When you hover your mouse, little project titles appear. And I'm going to click into one to show you what I think is super smart. Now, when you first land on the project page, you have a carousel of images. There's a caption down the bottom. But what is super clever is right now you don't see any project descriptions, correct? But down here, you have the little option of reading more. When you click read more, a little paragraph or snapshot of the project appears. So it's just a little, as I said, a little snapshot. Then you've got the option to read the full text. Okay, so now you've got three, maybe four paragraphs. You've got a table of key information. But this is where it gets super cool. You've also got the option to download. Now, when you download, you can see you get almost like a project sheet with a lot more information. You've got some images, plus you've got a whole table of um, key information, everything from the project team to you know the engineers, etc. Now, the reason I think this is so smart is a lot of architects are a little worried about project descriptions, you know, taking over or you know really I guess cluttering their beautiful images but this is a really smart way of doing it and the reason it is so smart is because you are putting your ideal client or your reader in the driver's seat you're giving them control about how much information they are getting so maybe perhaps they only want a snapshot or maybe they really want to know more about this project in which case they can download more information so that's the reason why I think it is, you know, something that perhaps you could do on your website if you're a little hesitant to put project descriptions because you don't want it to overtake your images, then perhaps this could be something to consider, you know, giving the reader the option um, to, I guess, control how much information or a little information that they get about a project. And I guess one extra little bonus tip, um, which David Chipperfield Architects have not done, but from a marketing perspective, you know, if you are trying to build your email list, whether it's for now or for future, I highly recommend if you ever have a downloadable, whether it's something to do with your project description or a case study, always ask for someone's name and their email address in return. And this just, I guess it future proofs you that if you do want to create an email um, list in the future, which I do highly recommend, um, it means that you're already starting to build it now. Plus it also gives you, I guess, uh, transparency um, and visibility over who is you know really interested in your practice? I mean, if someone's downloading these project uh, summaries, um, you know they're they're interested. Um, even if they are students, it doesn't matter. Like they've got that interest in in who you are, and it's good to to know that and have that information. So yeah, so um, definitely something to think about. I hope you enjoyed this tip, but yeah, put the reader, the ideal client, in the driver's seat. Uh, it's a very smart idea. So thanks for watching, and yeah hit reply or get in touch if you've got any questions. Thanks, bye.